Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is war number 11. And we're going up against an alliance called Thai Monster Killer. So we only have one war after this one, and we are trying to win these wars. Uh, we figure we're going to land in uh, goal one, uh, more than likely. Uh, and the rewards are decent for gold one. All right, so I'm coming in. And I'm not on backup this time, so you can see that I am in the initial group. And I went ahead and took path two. I did not want to mess with path one. I could have taken path one. Warlock is great for that one. But I went ahead and took path two. And I want you to notice, because it's going to come into play, the attack tactics. They have defense tactics and they have attack tactics. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But we're dealing with flow. And what I'm going to do here with uh, Nick Fury, who I really, really like, is I'm just trying to bleed him to death. Every time he gets that power flood, I try to parry so that I can stop the uh, power game. And that's pretty much how you want to do it. If you're fighting someone that doesn't have their own power game, then it's pretty easy to manage. They did change this so that even if they are stun immune, all you have to do is parry. And if the parry works, then it doesn't matter if they're stunned or not, it will stop the power gain. So it did make it a little bit uh, nicer, but didn't really address some of the other issues. But we got him down. He's not a difficult person to fight, and the defense tactic and the node didn't make him any more difficult. Okay, so I eyed this kingpin. Now, if path one had been cleared, I would have taken that kingpin as well. But path one got cleared, and I'm pretty sure he went ahead and took that kingpin as well. Then I got tagged by Jigner. Uh, who told me that they needed my Omega Red to fight this Elsa Bloodstone. Uh, so I looked over the nodes and nothing looked like it was going to be too terribly difficult to deal with. Now, if you're not familiar with Elsa Bloodstone, when she is bleeding, she will put a debuff, a degen on you, unless you are a mutant. Mutants are immune to that degen. So... She is one of the only champions that it's actually better to place with suicides. Because if they have double edge, then she's going to be bleeding and she's going to put a degen. And that degen is pretty nasty. Uh, so you want to fight her with an, uh, a mutant, ideally. Okay, and there I am with Omega Red. Alright, so we go in here and... Uh, sure enough, uh, he does have suicides, but I'm not seeing double A. So the D-Gen wouldn't have occurred uh, in any case. Uh, but we're pretty much taking it to her. Everything is going well. The fight is going extremely well. Okay, that backup recovery was a little annoying. All right, and you saw I got tagged a little bit. And I'm like, okay, okay, we were back. Now, I want you guys to watch this, okay? Right towards the end, all right? Look at this. Did you see how long that took? I actually went for the heavy, and it sat there. And then finally fired the heavy off, and she was done with the stun. I, I was sitting there looking at this going, I swear, if I lose this fight because of that, I was going to be very salty, very, very salty, but we got her down. All right. And I was looking up there. Now that Mordo, uh, that Mordo is nasty, uh, in that, on that node, very good placement for Mordo. Uh, he did take, I think two deaths or one death. Like I can't remember. Um, but we'll be ready for him the next time. So, now I went ahead and gone up here and I looked around and I'm like, I'm going to stick to path two. That's usually what we do. And that's why I decided to take path two in section one, because I had already scouted out section two. 
all right? And I'm going to take Warlock into this, and I'm going to actually do something. Remember I mentioned the attack tactics? Well, with Flow, all control champions get a buff, okay? So the defense, if you crit them, they're going to get a power gain. But on offense, you can do a heavy, and you're going to see me starting to do that. All right, boom. Do you see that combat power rate? What that did was counter the flow, okay? And that's why you see me doing it. Not only is it a nasty bleed from Warlock, but because Warlock is a control champion, when I fire that heavy off, it's reducing their power rate. So I don't have to worry so much about the flow. Very, very manageable at this point, okay? And I'm just like, yeah, I am really liking Warlock. I hadn't been using him properly, and I probably still have a lot to learn, but firing those heavies off to counter flow, big, big difference. And so I'm like, okay, you know, there were a couple of comments on my videos suggesting that, and I actually read the attack uh, tactic and was like, okay, and Warlock is is control, so this this should work, you know? And so this war, was the first time I was really trying this out. And it worked beautifully. Now, Invisible Woman is actually a pretty good defender and she's quite annoying. All right, so you see here, I'm doing the same uh, heavy attack and it puts a bleed on her, which if she goes in, uh, invisible, uh, it'll basically eat away at her shield. Uh, so you want to bleed her uh, as much as possible. All right, so now I've got the uh, infection. And as you can see, I'm trying to do the heavies as much as possible. There she went invisible again, but she's bleeding, so she came out of it very quickly. Okay, and that's how you want to fight her. Just keep those bleeds on her as much as possible. Warlock is a great counter uh, for her, especially on flow. All right, and so we're about to finish her off, and down she goes. So I really like Warlock. Uh, I liked him before, but the more I use him, the more I like him. And for flow, he is awesome. He has his own power control. And then with flow, he has another power control on the heavy. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now I didn't fight uh, anymore in this section. Uh, I eyed that guy uh, there, Ebony Maw. I could have taken him, but he wasn't cleared. So we'll be back to find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, we got all three of our bosses down. Uh, they were not able to get our bosses down. I really felt uh, for them. I, I was actually rooting for them uh, when I looked at the uh, scorecard. Uh, you can see the defender kills. They were game, they were trying. Uh, this particular war was somewhat of a mismatch, but with the new matchmaking system, uh, this should result in uh, alliances being where they need to be. So what it means is that some alliances are higher rated than they really should have been with the old matchmaking system. And so now you're going to get these things until things start getting equalized. At least that is the idea. Now, in practice, whether that's going to work, we'll see. All right. Um, but let's look down here. And there are our MVPs for this war. Uh, very good work, guys. So that's going to do it. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.